Well, Saskia Beinhard is the only player on this court at the moment that's had a match. Rana Ishmael, she came through 3-2 against 11-9 in the fifth. Uh, one of the, the, the fourth game was, uh, was a bagel, which was uh, mightily impressive. And to come back from, uh, from a, a two-love deficit, shared a lot of guts and, and heart. Saskia Beinhardt. She's up against Cindy Merlo, who is currently 55 in the world, but she's been up inside the top 40. 26 years of age, already a, a wealth of experience. The Swiss been professional now on the PSA World Tour, just over a decade. And a good 50% win rate from finals, picking up trophies, picking up three so far. Half time. And just under 50% in terms of her overall win rate. Saskia Barnhard on the right hand side there. 64 in the world. She's very close to her best of 62. Also 25. She's been on tour a little, a little less time, a little less experience. Just the four years for her and two titles from four. But, um, I think this should be a decent match now. Yeah, I think we're going to. I think we're going to see a lot of hard hitting in this match. I think they both love to play uh, yeah, a hard, uh, fast game. So uh, let's see who can do that the best today. Yeah. Yeah, they have played once before. There is a head-to-head -head be between these two, and it was it was pretty recent in the, the Optasia Championships. First round, and it was a 3-1 win for Cindy Merlo in 38 minutes. Do you, do you predict uh, a similar sort of scoreline, similar sort of duration, or do you think it might be, uh, you think that uh, Beinhardt might turn the tables being in Germany? Yeah, you know I'm not good at predictions, so. Yeah, but you, this, you're a commentator, <laughs> you, know, you, can't, you can't get away with it. You're getting away with the highlights, you have to make a, <laughs> make a prediction. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Saskia is all up for it today. She, she said yesterday in the interview that, you know, she's ready to take, to win the match today, and uh, um, she's never beaten uh, Cindy before, so she's she's going to really go for it. Uh, it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be. I feel I feel like it's going to be a three-two. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's got that written on it, hasn't it? I think yeah. today. Yeah. Um, I'm am going to go for Cindy though, just because um, I feel like uh, you know um, Saskia had a three-two yesterday. Time. Um, and I, it, maybe it might uh, play a part in it. Sure. But uh, otherwise, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, there's... Um, the serving, please. But there was one bagel in there, so that in the end it, it turned out to be 47 minutes, which isn't too long, is it, for athletes of this fitness? But we'll see. We'll see. I think I agree with you. It's going to be close. Saskia okay. has had one match on this court, so maybe that might play a, an that advantage. Yeah, that could help, definitely. Um. There's a decent crowd in to watch the, the German player. And the man in the hot seat play will, will start be in 30 seconds. Galanz. It's going to be Nico. Barbo in the Play video referee start in 15 seat seconds to ably assist him this evening for this match. German Open 2024 presented by Sportflex. Women's round two match. Saskia Weinhardt of Germany to serve, Cindy Merlo of Switzerland to receive. Best of five games. Level. Well, we now know that the winner of this match will come up against Salma Hani. She she prevailed against uh, Asia Harris just uh, a few minutes ago on one of the traditional courts. Top. 
Samahani, number four seed in this and event. out, one love. But they won't be thinking about that right now. They'll be concentrating on the task ahead of them. Yeah, you definitely can't think too far ahead. No. You always come unstuck <laughs> when you do that. Two love. I'm sure you've never done that since you started playing when you were two. <laughs> never. Good hold. And out one two. Nice use of the boast there from Beinhardt. Not up. And out three one. There's quite a lot of boasting going on, isn't there, early doors? Yeah. Four, one. Decent start for the Swiss, though. Not top. Oh, a lovely shot. That's all she could do, but it's and a out. shot. Two, four. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Absolute roller there from the back of the court. Yeah. Three, four. Cuspy is going for a low hard kills again. They worked really well yesterday, so why not keep them going? Absolutely. out five three that was great length but she got it back yes let five three This is actually the last uh, women's match to decide the, uh, the quarterfinals, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. And out four. Well, most five. of the top, uh, all of the top seeds are, are through. Gina Kennedy up against the Ab World Cup. Murphy against Hillis. Tina Gillis. And out six four. And Naila Hillis up against Malak Kavagi. A nice yeah. shot. Seven, nice four. Very, she's shot. very strong on that volley. Yeah. Well, she's just so balanced, isn't she? Feet are very still there coming in. Preparation on the backhand side Eight, from Romero. It's, yeah. it's really early and, and high, isn't it? Look like she's got a lot to do once she's once she gets to the ball. Down. And out. Five eight. There's the German coach in the uh, red tracksuit top, Oliver Petka. He's been around a long time on this squash scene. Very experienced. Out. And out. Nine five. Yeah, I feel uh, I feel Merlo's just uh, feeling more confident out there today. Yeah, she looks good. She looks in good order. Looks um, comfortable on the court. Yep. Moving well. Brilliant. 
kill. That's the one you were talking and about. What a volley that was. Yeah. Absolutely Six, crunching. Can I borrow that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty solid. Stroke to Beinhardt. Seven, nine. Expected to pick that one up. Yeah. Stroke oh. to Beinhardt. Yeah, it's a stroke. No, no, you are in the way. You you are in the direct line to the ball. Yeah, that's the correct decision. Eight, I feel. Nine. Oh, lovely. And that I love a drop eight, from the back of the court. Game ball. I love it. It's beautifully played. So two game balls then for Merlo. Yeah. Make that one. And out. Nine, ten. Absolutely game smashes ball. it, doesn't yeah. she, sometimes? Crowd enjoying that one. Oh, I think she could play that. I Nine ten. Going to your room. Yes, you can. Oh, don't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this could go play the other way. Oh, this could be Marlo dangerous. On the I feel. Yes, let's. Might see. stitch us out, <laughs> might she? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a no let. Well, she, there's certainly an argument for it. She she cleared there. Fine heart. She fully cleared. She was very quick to, to get out of the way. It was loose. Was, um, it was very loose, but she, yeah, she's got away with that one. Yeah. A little bit risky, yes, that. Decision upheld. Merlot has one review remaining. 9-10, game ball. But, uh, I guess she had game ball, didn't she? So <laughs> she wanted to get it over with. Oh, wow. What a serve. 10 all. The player must win by two points. So into the tie break here in this first game. This match between Switzerland and Germany. It was just now the right, 11, right 10, line, wasn't it? You can, you can have many different kinds of cross courts, can't you? And you've got to have that awareness of where your opponent is. Oh, lovely shot. Did well to recover there. Out. Thank you. And out. 11 all. Oh. Well, there's nothing between these two, Nat. No. In this first game. <laughs> yeah, it's a good hold and, and well flick. She got there nice and early just to buy game herself ball. a little bit of time there, Beinhardt. And it paid off. I feel mentally it would be better for um, Beinhardt if she took it first. I think, uh, I, I, I think it would do more damage for Melo to not get it first. And with, with the crowd, and with everything. 13-11, could be Beinhardt. Beinhardt leads. Absolutely. One game absolutely. To well, the crowd absolutely loving that, of course, seeing their, their player take that first game. Beinhardt. It's very impressive in the end, taking that in the tiebreak, 13-11 in 10 minutes. She leads by one game to love. Well, it was Cindy Merlo that probably started a, a little bit brighter. The Swiss player, very good technically, I feel, on that, uh, on that backhand side, definitely favours that. But it was very, very close between these, these two. 
We saw that three wall bows go in from the back from Beinhardt. And she is nothing if, uh, if not a fighter. She really does stick in in matches and got to give her credit for that as she takes the first. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Hard leads, one game to love. Let's start, please. So, by now, leading one game to love. Let's see if she can keep that momentum going. Oh, what a lovely start. One love. Out to love. Well, she's being um, assisted quite yeah. a bit at the moment by her opponent. She won't be complaining about that. Good start for Beinhardt in the second. And that's a wicked boast as well. Three love. The German coaching is uh, going pretty well so far here in Hamburg Double. in this match. And out one, three. Back to boasting again. So yeah. <laughs> another boast. I love a good I boast. It's very, boast. it's very useful in the women's game if used correctly. Very, very. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Two, three. <laughs> We're in boast heaven. Straight onto the racket, wasn't yeah. it? It was uh, really narrow, that, that yeah. width. Nowhere near the sidewall. No. That was a bit better width. Now top. <laughs> and out for three. out for all out up. Yeah, just a little bit too loose and, and, and half court there five four just setting it by heart she's very very confident at the moment she's gonna you can see the look of determination steely grit on her face and she's gonna go for that most of the points have been run, one in the, the front of the court so far. In this game, I think they feel that the that the court is dead and they're and they're putting it in quite early. Lovely. Again. That's Six a beautiful shot. Four. It's a really dangerous time so for Down. Merlin and now. A little Seven bit more four. dangerous with this three-point cushion. One love down. Just got to try and steady the ship here a little bit, Merlo. Out up. Thank you. Nice shot. Yeah, and great out. Shot. Five, seven.
Oh, it's yes. beauty. Six, seven. Just hit it so late, so difficult to read from here. And just running away into that side wall. Obviously, our team will be um, counting the amount of bursts that have been going on, not just in this match, but in the whole tournament. And we'll get that figure very, very soon. It's coming through as 47 and a half, so I don't think that's correct. But we'll, we'll get back There's a lot of them in this game. <laughs> <laughs> About 40 in this game. Down. Handouts. 8 6. No, I always loved a bit of a boast myself. Yeah, I, I think I remember you playing quite a few, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. On that backhand side. get it right there don't you yeah. I mean, both these okay. players are pretty good at Stroke it and they you know, don't Fine tend hard. to set up the other player but it can be a real nine six real set up real loose shot sometimes if you don't play it correctly yeah so Beinhardt still in pole position here down ten six game ball so that tin is music to the ears of the German. Four game balls now for a two-live lead. Down. Another oh. tin. 11 Another six. Tin. Game it's an early Christmas Hart. present Hart for two games, to love. two games to love now for the German. We didn't really predict this. Thought no, it might but be. as I said, my predictions uh, well, have not been correct yet. Have well, I was, well, I was with you. I mean, I, I wouldn't have uh, predicted this either. Oh, you uh, actually, I did say 3 2, so you, you know. did, there's still uh, a it chance. It could, yeah. There's still three uh, empty, well, six e empty boxes there. Yep. But it's Beinhardt that takes the second game 11 6 in six minutes. She leads by two games to love. Those cross courts look tough on the movement, don't you, James? Played it. Oh, Hit I think he might have got it, you know. He has. He has. And he's back up. It's unbelievable. Oh, what's happened? No. no. It's a handle. Well, he's still got hold of his racket, but the racket's not got hold of him. He's had an absolute shocker with the racket. It's done him. That's such a shame. He did such a good job here with his movement, didn't he? Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. The rally ended in such a bizarre way. What a retrieval, the dive. We're going to look at this whole rally unfold. The dive. He got nudged out the way, had to dive back while Bolson manages to get it on the front wall. Good recovery. And then again. And the racket absolutely did him one. I think it might have happened on the dive. Let's have a look here. You think it happened there? Maybe. I don't see it happening in the other back corner. It's still attached. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> so leading. Two games yeah. to love. Two games to love. And let's see if, uh, if there's going to be a response here from Cindy. Level. Or well, if it's too far gone. There's going to have to be, isn't there? And, uh, Early doors in this third, really, preferably for the Swiss, Down. and that will uh, be useful and to her cause. Love. Yeah. Two love. So there is a response. I'm not sure if it was a couple of nervy moves from Saskia as well. You know, when you when you're up to love. Starting to the finish line, yeah. even though it's the beginning of it, you're like, oh, I've never been in this position before. Three love, possibly. 
just um, very, very quickly. This is what she needed, and she's got to ha hang on to this somehow, Merlo. A couple of those shots are nice, so just a little bit more thoughtful, as was that one. The lob and then the straight kill. She's got it back. Not going One, away, three. that's for sure. Oh, nice. Down. Two, three. Just can't afford to miss those kinds right. of opportunities. Doesn't have to be an outright winner. No, just got to give yourself a bit of margin for error there. She had to improvise a little bit there to, to get that into the yeah, good hands, front huh? left. Yeah, yeah. Look at that for technique. Trousers. And out. Three, four. But I feel like, uh, yeah, Suski is uh, going to take it. In three? Yeah. You've said I it said now. It now. You've said Didn't it. I? And out, five, four. And out, 5 0. Oh. a wonder boast yeah. from the back of the court. There's and a fist bump and it's much deserved. Five. Brilliant shot. Good early racket prep there and almost invisible that. Just turning the wrist inside out. Cindy's playing that badly. I just think that Suski is just, just fighting for everything. You know, she's just getting it back and. Yeah, she's inspired. Yeah, she's determined to win this. Definitely, and she obviously dearly loved to to win in three, unlike yesterday, which was a great comeback. But she obviously needs to try and save some energy if possible. But the most important thing is just getting the W. Yeah. She's got a great chance with that, that ball going Seven, into the tin quite, quite meekly from Merlot. She's been 
Played some nice volleys. Oh, That's a wonderful shot for Merlo, like you and say. She's seven I mean, that was a great rally for Merlo. She, she can produce some really good stuff. The volleys and the boasts and the drop shots, but Beinhardt is so determined and so persistent. Down, hand out, eight, seven. This was uh, quite useful yeah. for Merlot. Yeah, it's a good finish from, from Merlot. Nine, eight. Absolutely crucial now for the Swiss. Focus, she's got to keep sure. playing a game, but yeah. she's got to make sure the ball's up. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's a very good point. <laughs> oh. And out, 9-0. It's a brave shot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, she's 9-8 down, and oh, that's a real clutch shot, that from the Swiss. Sorry, the German player, Peinhardt. Just keeping in touch here. Oh, yeah, that was a shocker. Yeah. She just sort of mistimed it, got a two in the wrong place. It match was ball. a bit of a disaster, really, and it had to be a stroke. So a match ball here for Beinhardt to win in three, potentially. Can't see it being anything else Play there, Nat. I mean, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get a review, strokes. but yeah, I think it's gonna be unfortunate. Yeah, it won't be overturned. I'm pretty, pretty confident. It's the first time she actually tried to go to the back instead of playing that volley drop, which was serving her so well in the. Yeah, in the she should have. I mean, it's easy for us to say yeah. she should have tried to go short again. Yeah. She has, she's very skillful with the back and drop shot. That was poor. Yeah, well that's unlucky to finish Stroke like that. Stroke hard. Decision upheld. 11-9, match yeah, that's to Beinhardt. a huge win for Saskia Beinhardt. You can see the, uh, the joy and the elation. And it's much 11, deserved. 11-9. The crowd obviously enjo enjoying a German player coming through, getting through to the quarterfinals. It's a big achievement for Beinhardt, taking out Cindy Merlo, who of course was the, uh, was the seed, was the higher seed. Saskia, congratulations. You kind of look like a woman on a mission tonight. That was such a fabulous performance. How do you feel? Uh, amazing. I mean, I was on a mission. Um, and I'm happy that uh, I succeeded to do this mission. <laughs> well, you talked about the match that you played against uh, Cindy quite recently, Optasia. Um, any sort of lessons learned? Do you think it's always good to get a chance to play someone quite quickly after a loss? Were there any sort of tactical changes that you made after that match coming into this one? Well, I wouldn't say tactical changes because luckily I have my coach that um, kind of knows what to do and he knew what to do three weeks ago, but I just didn't. So um, I'm quite happy that uh, I succeeded to do it today and uh, I listened to him today and I succeeded to bring it on court. Um, and I have to say after this match, I think I haven't said it yet, but I think this court suits me actually. I think it does. You've won quite a few matches on here over the last few years. Um, and yesterday, last night, at one point, you were two love down. Wasn't looking too good for your first German Open. Now you're in the quarterfinals where you will face Egypt's Salma Hani. Talk me through that one. Uh, yeah, well, great to know I play uh, Sal uh, Salma. Um, just like today, I didn't check my, my next round. I just focused on this round. Um, 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I've never played her. She's a top 10 player. So I think this is a match I can only learn from. Um, so I will definitely be on, a, on another mission tomorrow and we will see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. And this is your opportunity to ask the crowd to show up for you tomorrow and make sure that you've got lots of support. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm more than happy that my mom and her husband are here um, and they actually thought about going back home today, Ob obviously not after my match tomorrow, but before that they said like, okay, like we might go back on Thursday if you lose first round because the weather in Hamburg is just like Hamburg weather is. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, not sorry that you will have to stay another night. <laughs> Um, and yeah, obviously, um, all the others, please come back tomorrow. The cheering is on point today, um, was on point today, and I'm sure it'll be tomorrow again. And I'm looking forward to see you all again tomorrow. You've heard it. You must be back here tomorrow for your quarterfinal. Looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Saskia Beinart. What an extremely impressive performance from Saskia Beinhardt. She beat the highest seed. She's the only person, the only non-seed through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. And it's uh, great for the German crowd that, she, that they have a German through. And she's inconvenienced her parents. They're going to have to stay another night here in Hamburg, but I'm sure they won't mind. And there's the, uh, the handshake at the end. A bit of a, a bad way to go out for, for Merlo, but she just didn't... Uh, do the r enough of the right things today and all credit to Beinhardt. So next up we have Yannick Wilhelmi up against another German, Raphael Kandra, and that will be on at 8.30 local time. So uh, 